beautiful soul. Hello beautiful soul, welcome to this video on this gorgeous day here in Ireland. My name is Owen Fox and now I want to make a video about happiness in relationships. At the end of the day, you'd never want to break up with your partner, would you, if they brought you so much happiness and you were happily bringing them happiness. They would not want to break up with you if you were bringing them so much happiness in life. Why people break up because they're not happy. I want to simplify your relationship to happiness. This is what relationships are all about. You don't want to talk to your, your parents or family members or other people when they help to bring you sadness or stress or unhappiness. So if we can cut the chase and try and make people happy, less sad and less stressed, or ideally not sad, not stressed and more happy. Hello doggy. You're lovely and beautiful, aren't you? Yes! Come here! Ah, <laughs> oh, so cute. You look so nice. So we want to enhance and enrich the lives of people and bring them happiness. So ask yourself this, in your romantic relationship or personal relationships, are you conscientiously and consciously helping to bring and add happiness to your loved one's life? Do you know what you want in a relationship, your desires, your wishes and your wants? You need to know what you want. You need to know thyself, as Socrates said, so then you can share and express that with your partner. And I always say, and it's definitely true, relationships are actually negotiations. They're, I've heard people say they're like a business contract, and in that way it is true. There's a list of different things on the, the pros and the cons. What bring happiness or what take away happiness? What brings sad happiness or what brings sadness? So if there's too much on the list of the cons and there's too little on the positives, you will want to, you'll be looking for a better relationship or to leave the relationship or to escape and break out of the relationship if it's that bad. So, most of my viewers, and I'm sure you are, you're, you're a conscious viewer, you're growing in, in becoming more conscious as a human being, as a spiritual divine being. So, you, you, so, um, a tip for how to negotiate, tell, ask your partner would they be willing to to bring you, help bring you more happiness and that you will deliberately consciously try to bring them more happiness. So it's not about being dependent on each other, so like you'll be miserable without the other person doing things, but it's only that you'll get a di like add-ons, bonuses to your happiness in life from the other person. So you'll be a positive good thing. So you don't want an emotionally dependent relationship where you don't feel fulfilled or happy in life without your partner. You want to feel happy and fulfilled without your partner or without other people, generally speaking. You want to feel decent, good, even though the more extroverted you are, you will need or want other people's companies more because you feel like enlivened and energized by people more. The more down along the scale of introvertism that you are, the more you will feel enlivened, energized and loving your own company more. So, um, so one other thing about giving your partner things that they'd like, you don't want to like deeply compromise your values or integrity. Like if they want you to do things that you don't find integral, like hurting someone else or destroying something or being disrespectful that doesn't align with your morals or ethics. That's a borderline where that's where it doesn't really apply. You, you, it has to be something where you don't lose out too much. Like small, more or less sort of small things like, you know, or it could be like, it could be desires and needs. Um, it could be in, in certain types of intimacy or it could even be, of course, definitely sexual things, sexual relations. It could be certain like, hugs, kisses or sexual relations or it could be like not wearing your shoes in the room or in the house or um, it could be 
cleaning the place a certain way or arranging things or like taking care of duties or errands or it could be a million different things being more being more responsible with things or so it's all about negotiation guys it's all about communication and negotiation and it's all and you'll win and succeed if you communicate and negotiate from being conscious present with your partner so conscious and present and careful it's all about wanting to listen to the other person wanting to bring them happiness and then you'll listen it's also it's wanting to bring help them with their desires and happiness and their needs it's not about like fighting for your needs and desires it's about wanting wanting to give your desires and needs give them their desires and needs you want 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 and you ask them if they'd like to too tell them about this what i'm saying let's not argue or fight let's make each other happy as much as we can not that we're reliant and dependent but that we want to help bring more happiness to each other's lives we don't want to fight against each other we want to work with each other so life-changing and then you'll have a happier relationship so nice hey good morning how's it going <laughs> So I knocked it off because those three guys were there. They were actually in another my round, my fifth, sixth, seventh last video about appreciating life. <laughs> He's joking again with me, really friendly people. So that's the recipe for success in relationships. Largely, you you, you never want to project, which is the whole criticize, blame, judge. That's the old unconscious like ego way of absolute disconnection, counter-attacking and defensiveness. That's unconsciousness epitomized. That's when you'll have a miserable relationship or you'll, and you want to break out of the relationship because everyone's unhappy. You're against each other, you're not with each other. So the, the new way which I'm describing in this relationship is when you're, you're for each other. And how do you do it? You do it by being conscious, taking care of your own emotions, taking responsibility not projecting it's not projecting not blaming it and criticizing it and judging you say oh i feel this way i feel really bad i feel sad i feel angry towards you i feel this that, and the other but i'm not attacking you or criticizing or blaming you. i just feel bad and i want to share something about you i feel this emotion and i'm, I'm sorry if it's unpleasant for you but i feel this way and we're all entitled to our emotions and how do you feel? Uh, like, what am I doing that's not making you happy? What am I doing that's making you sad? What am I not doing? What am I doing? It's feedback. It's conscious. It's careful. It's 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 com a sense of calm or composed. You're not losing the plot. So your job is not to go wild and lose the plot. It's to be deliberate and careful. And if that means you feel good, you're deliberate and careful maybe about expressing how good you feel. Or you can let loose with abandonment a little bit if you feel really jolly and jump with joy. But when you feel these emotions like anger and the, the, the heavier kinds, that's when you need to be conscious and careful and deliberate. Because you don't want to go wild with those emotions and lash out, attack and destroy. You want to be careful and deliberate with them to express them and communicate them with them for the purpose of mutual understanding, connection growing together and creating a better relationship together because you understand each other better people get angry because their needs aren't being met when people are doing things that they really don't like when people don't feel loved it's a, it's a journey hi yeah so so um hope hope this video has been helpful if you have any questions or comments below or video topics please leave them below and i love this video topic i love it so much it's good to my heart 
So subscribe if you're new, give it a like if you liked it. You're checking my playlist on people, relations and communications and my channel wall as well for other playlists on health, spirituality and herbs. <laughs> I'm an avid herbal fan and health fan also. To work with me one to one and with um, clarity, empowerment coaching, please do book a session with me. Check out my website below as well as my herb shop below. Thank you for your time and I send you love and blessings on this bright, beautiful day. Send me love, love you. And remember, we're all entitled to every single emotion we have, be it positive or negative. Every single one. So, so, so be free. Be free in all of your emotions. Be free. You are free. We're all free. Okay, take care. Bye now. Love. Oh.